Yo, have you ever wanted to resynthesize audio in real time? Well, I got you with this MaxFly device I've been cooking up. Basically what this lets you do is it's um, kind of like an audio to MIDI converter in real time, but a bit more complex than that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and run you guys through how to use this plugin or this Mac Miss device, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and yeah, if you guys are interested in picking this up, you guys can get it on my Patreon for just 10 bucks, along with five months worth of content and sample packs, which is like 10 videos and five packs for just 10 bucks. Pretty good deal in my opinion, but yeah, let's get right into it. So there's a bunch of knobs on this. I'll go ahead and explain what each of them do, but let's go ahead and do an audio demo real fast. slick so yeah it basically just turns the audio into sine waves or triangle waves or square waves or saw waves um, because I have this nice little wave table on each of the oscillators that you can cycle through which is right in the middle here um, and yeah, and so it allows for some nice texture on top of your input signals, um, especially when you turn the mix down a bit. Let's give it a try. We just turned that chord loop that was a bunch of sine waves into saw waves. So you can basically like turn the simple shapes into different shapes with this device. Um, and it even sounds good on vocals too. So say sorry if you mean it now. I can't hear you when you're in the class. So say sorry if you mean it now. Yeah, pretty slick. Um, some cool things you can do with this is you can change the pitch of the output signal and mix in with the dry signal to create some nice harmonization, especially on melodies. It sounds pretty slick. Um, right now there's no way to do semitones and so it's just a number, but one is just the bass input audio or input pitch, two is an octave up, four is like two octaves up and so on. Um, and so it might be a little bit confusing, but you can do ratios with this. So I want to like do like a fifth, I think is 1.5. So yeah, and it sounds really nice on different saw and on different wavetable shapes and stuff. So say sorry if you mean it now I can't hear you when you're in the clouds So say sorry if you mean it now Yeah, so those are kind of the main features of this of this device um, There's other stuff you can change the amount of harmonics you want and so you can have as little as two harmonics playing <laughs> Um, you can also adjust the transition time between the notes and so you can get some kind of weird pitch bendy sound and stuff This is more useful for sound design or uh, it sounds good on chords too um, And there's also an option for the max analysis so if there's a bunch of high frequency sounds you don't like that are getting in there you can turn this down a bit and only uh, only map to the lower frequencies you can also change the analysis window to something like to something like a lot bigger to make more glitchy kind of spectral sounding tones <laughs> But 
but yeah, the possibilities of this are pretty much endless. You can use this on any kind of sounds and get really crazy results. Um, and yeah, if you guys are interested in checking this out, again, I'll put links in the description below to my Patreon. You guys can check it out there for just 10 bucks, along with all the other content I've ever put out since we're going to get this year. So yeah, appreciate the support, guys. And until next time, peace.